Today we are shopping from this site called thecelebritydresses.com. When I first walked out of the dressing room, yeah. you like freaked out. Yeah. Oh my god. Everybody shut up. I'm really digging. The I only honestly thing, like this a lot. This is perfect. What's up you guys? Welcome back to Clever Style. Hi, you guys. Hi. Hi. And if you're new here, hi, hi. Hello. Welcome to Clever Style. It is another day where we get to do things that we love, which usually includes fashion. Holla. Did you see this cup? But not only do we love fashion, we also love shopping, and we also love finding the perfect celebrity dupe outfits on a budget. That part, and we've done it multiple times, whether it be Selena Gomez, Taylor Swift, Billie Eilish, mm -hmm. and a whole bunch of other people. Yep. So today we are shopping from this site called thecelebritydresses.com, and basically what you can do is you can go in there and find your favorite celebrity dresses that they've worn to any event, and they have dupes of them. That's right, so they claim to be able to recreate these dresses, yeah. and they do it for around, wait for it. Keep waiting. <laughs> Keep waiting for all of eternity only to discover there's no escape. $200. What kind of Fulando. magic is that? Two Benjamins. Yeah, 200 bucks. That's not That's, bad at all. It's not bad at all considering that they are claiming to be able to recreate these dresses. And we're talking yeah. like our favorite carpet outfits, our favorite movie outfits. Yeah. When you think about your dream celebrity outfit, we all know what that is. We all have something in mind. But surprise, we actually already have our dresses because we are in the future, which future. is the present for you, technically. <laughs> We already picked out our two dresses. Mm -hmm. They are here. They are waiting for so us to excited. try on. And honestly, I'm really, really excited. Yeah, but first, I think you guys should watch us shop because it was an experience. Flashback. Okay, you guys, we have celebritydresses.com queued up and we're about to explore to see what we can find. My favorite dress of all time, which is also my phone wallpaper is Rihanna when mm -hmm. she went to the CFDA awards. Oh yeah, that is gorgeous. Well, go to her, she's no, listed. wait a second. They have second. Grammy Awards dresses. Okay, wait, 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 this is very deceiving because I clicked on Rihanna and there's like all these pictures of Rihanna. So yeah, like, it's like, it it's shows like, you the actual dress. Yeah, so I need to see what the recreation looks like. Rihanna dresses are really good. Like they're always gonna be kind of like out of this world a little bit and a little bit more like chic. But then I also wanna see what's Kim K working with. It was the year of the Met Gala when it was like Catholicism and her gold dress that she wore. Yeah. She looked so good that I had a physical reaction. She always has good Met Gala dresses, huh? It's a full-time job. Do you love Bella Hadid's I, style too? Yeah. I always feel like I obsess over her more than everybody I, else. Oh my God, you obsess over her too? I for Yes, I love, I look I, at all of her pictures of her street style. Should I just go to Meghan Markle just cause she's my doppel? Yeah, oh my God, you have to. How come you've never been here for Halloween? Cause what am I gonna wear? Like a wedding dress? Nope, no ma'am. Although if I did wanna wear a wedding dress, they definitely do have it. They do? Yes. Oh my God, you should, for, I didn't like her wedding dress. Sorry, Megan. But you know whose wedding dress was so good? Who? Was Kate Middleton's. I always think about the lace detail, the ball gown with the long sleeve. Don't you think that's really pretty? Mm. If I were to ever wear a ball gown, it would be like that one. They have the Christina Aguilera dress from- um, Burlesque? From Burlesque when she's singing the song about her man and the green one about she- her man. Was, she, Wait, where did you get to that? I have dreamt about that dress ever since I saw it. <laughs> she looked more gorgeous than she's ever looked. In that moment, I was like, Christina Aguilera, you are a doll. Can we just make out now? Even the Met Gala dresses that they have on here seem like they're none of the crazier ones because obviously these are like being recreated, you know? But they do have the Emma Roberts long sleeve ruffled princess dress. Look at this one. They have oh, this wow. one. Wow. They have the Marilyn Monroe dress from Gentlemen Prefer Blonde. Like the Marilyn Monroe dress? I mean, they have a picture of Marilyn Monroe in it, in but it. who knows what it actually <laughs> looks like. The review says, many thanks to our customer to share the beautiful photo. So stunning. Oh, okay, let's see what it looks like on her. Oh yeah, it does look exactly like that dress. I found this Kylie Jenner green one that seems like it would be kind of really hard, but Let look, I really do like this dress. Let me see. Oh, that's dope. That's the one she wore to the Christmas party. This is like such a fun idea. If you look, they also have like wedding dresses, they have bridesmaids dresses, wedding guest dresses, <laughs> shoes, and then like also just regular clothing too. They're an actual store. Yeah. They obviously just also offer the celebrity dresses. How am I supposed to decide? There's so many good dresses. Okay, so you guys, this site also has a really cool option. So for example, like if you are a size four, you can um, specify what your particular measurements are. And then also you can customize 
customize it so like for say that like this Gabrielle Union dress is in yellow like I can get it in blue I can get it in purple whatever so they have so many options the fact that they have the Ariana Grande gray ball gown from the Grammys <gasps> that is wild to me she needed like so many helpers how could they recreate that it is five hundred dollars damn all right well i think we're if not like we probably have them or close to having them right how do you feel i feel good like i love of what I picked. Yeah. However, comma, I just, I hope my expectations aren't too high because I want what I saw on the slim I body. Know, I know, I know. This this must be really hard for you because like dresses and formal dresses is like it everything to, to you. Me. This is like my Super Bowl, you know? Yeah, well, uh, God, I hope it's good. I hope so too. I think there's only one way to find out and it is to try it on and on our own bodies. You know what I'm saying? Guess what's coming up right next, right now, after these messages. End of flashback. Okay, darlings, we are in our gowns. Can you guess who we are? Well, you don't have to because I'm gonna tell you. I am wearing Kari Kloss's gown that she wore to an Amphar event in 2016. And I picked this because I thought, like, on, on her. Not that the dress doesn't look good on me, but let's be clear, this is not the same dress, okay? This is the thing. I thought it looked so chic. Mm -hmm. I loved how classic it looked. Mm -hmm. It looked corseted almost, like she couldn't breathe. And then on top of this, like, off the shoulder sweetheart neckline with mm -hmm. just flowers cascading around it's her very, bosom. It's like, old Hollywood yes. glam, but like not in a old school way. Like perfection. an ode to the old Hollywood. Yeah. And this one um, is a discounted attempt. Let's call it what it is, because that's what it looks like. It's definitely not as tight as it should be, which some people would say is more comfortable, but I just say it's less cute. The flowers look like they are from Michaels. Nothing wrong with Michaels, but I would prefer. I love Michaels, but, I, but not, not all my dress. dress. No. Don't like that. But I think from far away, and like I think if you were trying to do a Halloween costume, yes. this is perfect. I am wearing this blue gown thing. It is a Selena Gomez recreation. Yeah. She wore it to the 2013 MTV VMAs. 2013 was a good year. It was the year that Selena Gomez and I both turned 21. She looked a hell of a lot better that year in this dress than I, I not do. not know how old Selena Gomez was. Wow. <laughs> This is like the most iconic Selena Gomez dress. I know. Yeah. I know. I yeah. think it was Balmain. Uh, this is Versace. The top is cool and is the most impressive as part of the dress of recreating. Yeah. But again, it's the details. It's like these sequins. Yeah. It just makes it look really cheap. But like you said from afar, when I first walked out of the dressing room, yeah. you like freaked out. Yeah. It wasn't until you came close to me and you realized that the quality is not there. I'm really curious to see what it looks like on camera because from far away, it looked yeah. exactly like the dress. It's this, this style. They did a really good job with these with these the clasps. Little thingies, yeah. But yeah, it still has that plastic sequin. Yeah. And I almost just wish like they didn't even put them on at all. Yeah. You know? The overlay part actually looks good to me. It's, yeah, the, it's cool. the the bodice part that yeah. they drop the ball it's on. It's cool. And also it's not adjustable and it is really big. There's no padding in this, so it's pointy. There's no padding in there? There's no padding in it. Damn. I think this is a really, really good, just in general, as part of like a recreation. It's close and you totally get the vibe. Yeah. When you see it, if you're as big of a fan or, mm -hmm. you know, you're like, oh my God, I know that dress. This did take a month to arrive. It did. I almost forgot about this episode. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't, because I've been thinking about that Christina Aguilera dress. <laughs> That's another thing to keep in mind. If you have an event coming up, plan ahead. Yeah. Because who knows, depending on how big the dress is or complicated, it might even take longer. It's definitely fun. It is fun, but I will say this. Mm -hmm. You will probably have to make alterations. Yeah. Because like you would make Same. alterations in that dress, I would make alterations in the dress. Like the sizing is not unk. Yeah. Like, I don't like it. Okay. All right, so moving right along, we are actually both dressed up in more of like a pop culture moment, we respectively. Are. Mm -hmm. So I am wearing another Selena Gomez dress, uh, another one that is not as good as the original. <laughs> this one might be like worse in some ways, but this is- So annoying. I know, this is the dress from the uh, When You're Ready, Come and Get It music video. Everything about it is my style to a T. The lace, the black, the sheer. Damn. Uh, it's everything I ever would want in a dress. I'm obsessed with her entire look, her like long wavy hair like blowing in the oh, wind. Oh yeah, that was so good. hot. And then yeah. I got this. Yeah. <laughs> it's $160, okay? Uh-uh! 
That's disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you said that like you meant it. I did mean it. Yeah. I'm just shocked because I feel like they could have done a lot more with this. Yeah. First of all, it did come with shorts. I'm wearing my own shorts because the shorts it came with are low rise where like clearly if you look at the picture, they're not like shorts. They are like actual like underwear type briefs yeah. and they're high waisted. So the shorts they sent are like picture boy short underwear. Yeah. That is what they are. They're not briefs. I just feel like there wasn't as much consideration to make this a true recreation for this one. Yeah, but yours look really good under it. Yours look like the way it's supposed oh, to Oh, well, look. you know why? It's because I like rolled it up real good. So it's cutting it, into my thighs at like unbelievable like angles. It looks good. So it's popping my thigh Wait, out. pull that out so it's not stuck. That's what she said. Oh, no, 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 not that. Just come on, you guys. This material is thicker. It's more of like a mesh type material rather than this sheer this isn't mesh. I don't know what this is. What do you call this? Um, no, it's like guys. curtain. I'm not a real girl. A <laughs> <laughs> I almost wish that the skirt in the shorts part was detachable from that because you could totally wear that like for a festival well, look you, or something. A hundred percent. But you know, like I own that. They really messed up on these eyelashes. Yeah, this doesn't even stay up. Like the last one, the quality wasn't there, but at least you could see how much they tried to make it look like that. Yeah. Or this one, I just feel like, no. I'm sorry. You still know. look really cute though. Thank you. You perfect sunflower. You look great. Thanks, sorry, I love mine. No, yours is a major step up from- It's definitely a major step yes. up. I think it's good that I start with the Carly dress yeah. because that way I'm like, oh! So like, even though this one's not perfect, it's just so much better than the yeah. other one that I'm yeah. like, okay. So if you don't know the reference, this dress is my dream come true. This was the dress that Christina Aguilera wore when she was seeing Bound to You in burlesque. And it is one of the most beautiful scenes. She looks like an angel on yeah. earth and they got Pretty freaking close. The draping is also a big factor in the boobage. The boobage, mm -hmm. the corset, and the draping is like really what, in the color. I think all those things are pretty close, especially yeah. like the color. I'm really digging. The I only honestly thing, like this a lot. Actually, I noticed that when I didn't have it zipped all the way, the draping was a little bit better. Cause yeah. you can like see where it's kind of, you know, pinned. But they got very close. Cause I'm sure yeah. her gown was very expensive and, and that's why right, it draped the way right. it did. But this is so close. I'm going to reenact it when I get home. It's a lot of holding your stomach. Yes. It's a lot of this, and she can't raise her arms, so she all of it's like move. here. I am bound to you. Also, can we talk about the length of it? I'm tall and I have heels on, like things are too short, especially if they're more discounted, which is this is still looks pretty expensive. It's like over a hundred dollars. Yeah. But I didn't expect it to actually give me some type of trainage, and I have a train. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. I have a feeling that we look great on camera. I'm trying to see the monitor. Oh my God. Everybody shut up. So corrected, we definitely look better on camera. I still feel like I look like that. In real life. Yours doesn't look, I still, oh my God. I'm, I'm happy now. at least to see a good one because mm -hmm. otherwise, if we would have left with two bad dresses each, yeah, that would we would have literally been like, what is upsetting. the point in ever going on this site? Where clearly I'm like, oh, it's like a hit or miss and just keep your tags on in case you need to return it. But like, clearly this is a good one. I can't stop doing her. That's pretty phenomenal. Who do you you guys remember when Erin and I did custom dresses and I did the like Cinderella gown yes. and then she did the purple gown? Yes. I definitely think the quality for the custom dresses, the, site, the Lund site was way better. Way, way better. better. This is $160. Yeah. It wasn't a hit for me today. The last dress, I hated on it so much. And now I'm like, that dress was great compared to this one. You know what? Bro. When you guys are ready, don't get this. Ready, come don't and get it. Get, no. No, nah, no. When nah. you're ready, <laughs> Don't go and get this. <laughs> All right? No. No, 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 no. Once you're done down in the comments, then be sure to click right over here because there's even more. And if you haven't seen Drew's last Cinderella customization dress, go watch that too because that one was epic. Boop.